Hi, my name is Jose Basila. I'm the pavilion director at the Guatemalan Pavilion. And uh, welcome. The Guatemal Guatemalan Pavilion, it's like a museum, like an art gallery. So we're focusing ourselves in it to, be, to look like an art gallery. As you can see, you can go through each way and it's basically a museum. We wanted to show the world how Guatemala is important in tourism, in investment and in trade. Guatemala exports cardamom and coffee to the region, so we have a lot of cardamom and we also have a lot of coffee. But we also wanted to show the world that Guatemala is more than just cardamom and more than just um, coffee. So we're promoting artists, emerging artists, entrepreneurs, uh, SMEs, big companies, small companies, medium companies. So the whole idea is to promote Guatemala as more than just a tourist destination. Guatemala shows the world, you know, you see volcanoes, weaving. We have very nice artists like Rosana Lagos, for instance, uh, who is doing some art on acrylic, on ostrich eggs, uh, always focusing, of course, in Guatemalan theme. Um, and then one of the things that are very well known as well, our chairs. If you can see, our chairs are like people love our chairs. These are also handmade back home in Guatemala and they resemble a Guatemalan huipil. As you can see, they're all different and they show Guatemalan huipil, which is the traditional clothing of women back home in Guatemala. As you can see, our pavilion is very, very colorful, which of course represents uh, our country. On the walls, you'll see different uh, exportable offer that Guatemala uh, has. And of course, there's more, more artists like Diana Fernandez. Then we have Des Denise Mesa as well and then Moom Ceramics. They're all very uh, f famous emerging Guatemalan plastic artists uh, and painters. One of the most important walls, of course, is this wall, which is the coffee wall. Um, Guatemala exports coffee, uh, one of the best coffees around the world. So we're wanting to promote coffee uh, um, uh, around the world. What, what, how is it the best coffee in the world? So it is the best coffee because I'm from Guatemala and I think it's the best coffee, but also Guatemala has, we always win, you know, cup of excellences and different uh, rewards and awards around the world regarding how good our coffee is because of the altitude and because Guatemala is a volcanic country. We have 33 volcanoes, which of course gives the coffee plantations a different taste. And it has been rewarded for it being one of the best coffees in the world among other Latin American and African countries. So how much coffee uh, do you produce? So we produce like a lot, tons. It's around 2% of the world's um, exports. It's not a lot, but it's one of the best uh, qualities. And as you can see on this side, we're all, we also produce cardamom. Cardamom is a green spice and uh, it is, um, we produce 70 to 85, depending on the year percent of the world's cardamom. We don't consume cardamom, but we do produce cardamom, which is very important for us. And then this is also Mayu uh, ceramics, which are some ceramics made in Lake Atitlan by some entrepreneurs and indigenous communities. Uh, and we're also trying to promote ceramics around the world. On this side, we have Victoria Murga, which is Vito Murga. She's an, uh, a plastic artist as well, back home in Guatemala. And she makes some, she's doing some interventions with chairs and spheres, as you can see on this side. Uh, and then we're also promoting Guatemala as a kaleidoscope of colors and cultures. We have the African-American culture back home or African-Guatemalan culture, which are called Garifunas, the indigenous communities, the indigenous religion as well. Mayan culture is very important for us. So we're trying to promote that as well, among other artists as well, which are on this side, you'll see Katia Miranda. Um, she's doing everyday objects on this side and then uh, Mayu ceramics as well. One of the most important um, things you'll see in our pavilion is also this dress, which is very colorful. It's by Eduardo Figueroa, one of the most famous Guatemalan fashion designers. And he kindly gave us this amazing dress, which people re really love. And on the back, you'll see Antigua Guatemala, which, and our flag, of course, but Antigua Guatemala was the old capital of Guatemala. And um, as you can see here, it's one of the main streets of Antigua with uh, Santa Catarina um, Arc on the middle, which is also, this city was destroyed by a, by a volcano, earthquake eruption um, several years ago, of course, a hundred years ago. And as you can see it as well here on the video, this is the volcano that erupted when this happened. 
Um, then you'll see more emerging artists. On this side, you, we have Bel Belula hats and uh, Shanu bags and Tuks. All of them are also emerging artists and fashion designers back home in Guatemala. Everything, again, very, very uh, colorful. On this side, our national bear, which we are very proud of because it uh, shows liberty and freedom. Uh, expresses liberty and freedom. This bird can only live in freedom and liberty. You cannot have him on a cage or it will die. So this is why it is our national bird. Telma Espina, who is a very famous fashion designer back home in Guatemala. She loves doing interventions between modernity and Mayan culture and Mayan textiles as well. And um, on this side, we have ha uh, Haspe, which is his another uh, fashion designer who is her name is Victoria Murga as well which her brand is Haspe and last but not least we have Amala's swimwear which are these two uh, by Ana Rivera she's doing some bathing suits and then again we're promoting coffee which is very important for us we're having some coffee uh, tasting starting at the end of November uh, and then our shop which is basically all samples of Guatemalan products. Again, some bags by Shanu bags, some coffee, which is very important for us, some other fashion designers, Belula hats again, eco filter, coffee again, cardamom, and of course our rum, which is one of the most famous rums in the world. So, so people can come here to the Dubai World Expo and buy this one? They can come and they can check them out and with the uh, QR codes all around, the shop you can buy them through the QR codes and then it gets shipped to worldwide yeah exactly all right um, and that's how it works so so uh, in terms of the industry and the development of the um, the what's it called economy yes Guatemala how is it going so Guatemala is a very very stable country in Latin America actually through the pandemic Guatemala showed the most to be the most stable country economically wise. We didn't at the end economically it was very very stable, which was great for us. And this is a great a great opportunity for us for investment. So lots of Latin American countries, lots of European countries are investing in Guatemala because of its macro and microeconomic stability, which is great for us. Some other countries in Latin America were very very highly affected economically by the pandemic, and this. Thank God it didn't happen to Guatemala because of its economic stability. The, the problem that happens is when uh, during this strange time that the travels are kind of blocked and stuff. Yes, in uh, but, uh, tourism, yeah. tourism is important. Tourism is huge. It's, it's very important for us, which was, of course, it really affected the, the tourism industry back home in Guatemala. But thank God uh, Guatemala opened its border very, very soon. We opened our borders in uh, August, September, more or less. So this led us to have, you know, it, this was a great opportunity for us to have more tourism starting September, October, uh, which is great. And also, you know, in exports and imports, we're very big as well. So this helped a lot. And um, there, there's a lot of things to do for the tourism. The yes, of course. You know, we have, we are, we're divided. The country, the country is 108,000 108, kilometers square. Um, it's, it's small or big depending on how you see it. We have 17, 15 to 17 million people living in Guatemala. We have so many tourist destinations. There you can see Guatemala City as an investment uh, destination. We have Tikal, which is the Mayan capital of, of, of the capital of the Mayans, sorry. And then we have the colonial cities. We have the Mayan uh, heritage. We have natural adventure. So it's great. It's a, a small country with very, very different destinations to visit. There is a, um, a lot of uh, trade happening with Europe. Yes, um, actually, I mean, our, our biggest trade partners are the US, of course, Canada, Mexico, and some Latin American countries. And with Europe, of course, we have Spain, Germany, Italy, Belgium as well. Uh, the Netherlands is a very important trade country. And in the Middle East, Saudi Arabia and the UAE are the most important countries uh, related to trade, especially with cardamom and coffee. Uh, so it, it's, um, it's correct to say that you also focus a lot on exporting the art, the artist's work. That's what it looks like so here because you're featuring a lot of this artists. This is what we're focusing on. So yes, yeah. so no, as of today, no, we're not exporting art, you know, like the artwork yet. 
but we wanted to take advantage of Expo as a platform to start promoting our artists and to see that Guatemala is not only the agribusiness, but there's more than that. And you know, there's textiles, there's manufacturers, there's artists, there's painters, there's photographers, famous photographers as well, there's jewelry. This is an amazing piece of artwork by a Guatemalan artist Alan Ben Shoam. Um, and he's, you know, he's a photographer and he's an amazing artist and he was taking pictures of all these uh, uh, doors back home in Guatemala and in, around the world and he did this amazing piece of art which I love and it's one of them, you know, most people love it. Um, and this is what we want to promote, you know, like people usually don't think of Guatemala as a destination for art industry. And on this side you'll see uh, Anielka Palacios, she's uh, AA collection and she's doing some jewelry as well which is very famous among, um, in Latin America as of today. And we want to promote her as an emerging artist in the jewelry area. And also, one thing that I didn't mention before is that all the pictures you'll see around the pavilion are taken by famous Guatemalan photographers as well. And also the ones that you see outside the pavilion. So it's also a, a piece of art because it was taken by famous Guatemalan photographers. On this side, we have Vessel Collection by Lisa Carrillo. She's an also a Guatemalan artist, and on this specific dress, she's focusing herself on Carlos Merida, who was a Guatemalan artist as well. So she's an emerging, uh, more than an emerging, she's already an established uh, fashion designer. Uh, she's based in Mexico, but she's Guatemalan, and she sent us many pieces of, 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 of her collection as well. All right. Um, all right, so how's it going with the expo? So we're very happy. We're having between 800 to 1,000 visitors every day, which is great for us. We are an assisted pavilion, and we thank the UAE and, the, and Dubai and the Expo organization for it. Uh, so for us, it's been great. For us to have 1,000 people every day knowing that Guatemala is a country in Central America is already a great opportunity for them to understand Guatemala, to know Guatemala, and to place Guatemala on a, on a map. That's already a win-win for ourselves. Can you say something about the partnership, the UAE or so the, we the region here? Are yeah. they investing uh, yeah. something? So this is what we're promoting. Guatemala opened its embassy in 2000, uh, November 2019. And the idea for us for opening an embassy in the UAE in Abu Dhabi was because of Expo. So yes, we want to promote exports. We want to attract investment from the region, from the Gulf region, from the UAE, from Saudi, from Bahrain, Qatar, Kuwait, and the whole uh, Gulf region, so this is why we're focusing and we think of Expo as a great opportunity, as a great platform to attract investment back home. There's, uh, there's no direct flight yet, right? No, it is something we're also working on. As of today, we don't have any direct flights from Dubai or the region to Guatemala, but we do have direct flights from the region to New York, Miami, Houston and Dallas, and from there you have direct flights back home to Guatemala. So there's some co-sharing happening as of today but still you know we're working on it we want some cargo uh, for it to happen we want some cargo from Etihad we want cargo from from Dubai from uh, Emirates so we'll see inshallah some someday it might happen soon right inshallah, and we'll uh, direct flights from Europe yes we have direct flights from Madrid as of today which is our main uh, partner back back you know Spain and Guatemala have such a straight um, uh, connection close connections. So yes, we have uh, direct flights from Spain and uh, we're promoting, you know, after COVID, we're promoting international flights again from other European countries. And uh, uh, for Europeans uh, or Americans to come, it's an uh, affordable holiday, no? Yeah, of course. It's always an affordable holiday. It's an amazing holiday. The weather in Guatemala is the best weather in the world. And you'll see in all such year a, round. all year round, you have between 19 to 28 degrees Celsius the whole year. Of course, in the coast, you have a bit hotter and the mountains a bit colder but all year round there's it's great weather so I totally welcome you to come to Guatemala I encourage Europeans and Americans and Canadians to come to Guatemala it's a great destination for investment for trade and for tourism definitely and also inviting the Guatemalans to travel everywhere yes of course right? I mean uh, yes. is a visa free travel to many countries yeah or? Guatemala has a very good a very strong passport so we can travel we can travel to Europe without the visa we can travel to so many countries without a visa and also many countries can travel to Guatemala without the need of a visa